On the busy streets of Accra, I meet 35-year-old Vida carrying a plastic bowl with sachet water in it. Vida is a mother of two and married to a wayside baba. She and her husband left their children in the village to find a better life here in Accra. <laughs> I used to sell fried fish back in the village, but I took a loan and I ran into losses, so I had to come to Accra and make a living. It's not easy surviving here. Tema Station, Vida works here, hawking sachet water to the thousands who come here every day. She makes just 10 Ghana cities, enough to buy Vida and her husband dinner of kinky and small pieces of fish. Look about 10 and I five. And that's the one family thing, I've got three. In the end, on a normal day, no, I hear you from Piotr business. Yeah, Piotr is it 10. 10 cities. I sometimes take five bags of sachet water a day and I often get 10 cities, but unfortunately, I spend eight cities on transportation. The remaining two cities are buy water and food. Vida's husband also earns 20 Ghana cities a day. But he needs to eat, buy blade, sharpen his scissors and clippers and pay for his Okada ride home. Not much of the cash is left at the end of the day, but they still have to save and pay their children's school fees. My two children are both in basic school. My husband and I managed to save the little we have to cater for their needs. It's not easy. Yes, government may have increased the minimum wage by 10%, making it stand at 10 to the 65 pesos. But Vida does not even end that. I asked her how she thinks government can help them to ensure they also earn that minimum wage. Government can help me get a shop or anything else that can help me get more than I earn. For the likes of Vida in Ghana who do not understand what minimum wages all they want is government to improve their living conditions. Nancy MFA Dradosi, Joy News.